From the high-powered and often divisive debate over curbing gun violence and tightening up on gun laws to the heated debate over immigration, of course, the never-ending topic of the nation's debt. Tonight, we're talking with your new representative in District 19 in Southwest Florida, Mr. Trey Radel. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for we having really me. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Yeah. yeah. So the president has obviously had a full plate of issues to start off this second term. Uh, one issue very hotly debated is gun control. Mm -hmm. So where do you see uh, efforts in Congress regarding the president's proposal for, for gun control moving? Well, everything so far has been very vague with the exception of uh, Senator Feinstein out of California saying that we need to ban assault weapons. Uh, first and foremost, I believe in the Second Amendment like I do the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. You have a God-given right to be able to protect yourself and your family. Uh, with respect to what the President's been saying in some of his rhetoric, I can appreciate some of the ideas that he's trying to put forward, which are to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. And I will, I will explore any of those paths uh, with Democrats. Our colleagues across the aisle. However, to come up like uh, Senator Feinstein is to say that we're going to just ban assault weapons, uh, in the, which is a misnomer in itself. Any weapon can be an assault weapon. Sure. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, let's take a look at the strictest laws in the United States or in the city of Chicago, where I lived for a few years. More murders there than any other city in the United States. So you end up arming bad guys and good people who want to protect their homes and family do not have access then. Um, it, it just, again, it's not based in, in facts or logic or the way that the numbers break down statistically with the way crimes are committed. We need to quit thinking emotionally and act rationally. And I think the best way to do so are, again, where the president has talked about keeping guns out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. But I am a firm believer that you have the right to protect yourself and your family. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Another priority for the president in this second term is obviously immigration reform. A group of eight bipartisan senators have now come together, as you know, to come up with a so-called agreement, possibly the first one in terms of immigration control to try to put forth, um, you know, a, a solution to this problem. Essentially, among other things, it would require Im immigrants to pass background checks, pay back taxes, and learn English. What are your thoughts on immigration reform in general and specifically the president's path sure. to citizenship? Well, when we look at it, it's almost incredible to see that Republicans and Democrats uh, have come together and said, we, we agree about this in concept. But let's be clear here, right now, that's all that is, is a concept, a few ideas on paper, but no legislation. I think, though, that there is a fiscal conservative argument for these types of paths, national security, uh, as well as a moral argument for families. Before anything, though, we have to lock down the border. Yeah. We need to make sure that we have a safe and secure country. The fiscal argument is that the United States population is dying off. And what has made us great for more than 200 years is that we are a nation of immigrants. Uh, people who are entrepreneurs to labor force, you name it, immigration has made this country so great for so long. National security. I want to know who is here. How do we identify those people to make sure that they don't want to do harm to our country? And again, we need to secure the border. But the moral argument. When you look at some young kids who are brought here by no choice of their own, they're as American as apple pie. Yep. They speak English and only English. Yep. They're the valedictorians of our high schools. They're the star quarterbacks. They're the ones who can add to our economy, who can start up businesses, add to our economy, uh, and do great things for this nation as, as immigrants, legal immigrants, uh, have done for so long. Certainly. So there are areas to look at this, but we need to make sure that we have checks and balances, most especially starting with security of the border. But it's going to be a tough issue. I'm open to it, like I take anything as approach in private business or as a representative and servant of this community. A tough issue for sure. 11 million undocumented, estimated uh, immigrants in the country. So. You know, the president's expected to speak on that tomorrow in Las Vegas, so inter interested to see how that turns out. So, Representative Michelle. Trey Radel, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate, appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks.